Hey, this is David, house parents. Today we got another window repair. This time we're gonna do from the outside. Uh, you can see here this window from about this joint right here all the way around is pretty soft. I mean, I can peel the pieces off here. So first things first, we're gonna just try to get rid of whatever the rotted wood is. And it looks like this corner, from this corner here to about this corner here, and maybe this piece right here, the windowsill, it feels, it might need a little bit of repair, we'll see. Basically, the, to start off with, we just gotta uh, take a chisel and lightly peel away all the rotted wood and see what the problem is. So the window started scraping a lot of this away and of course it's always worse at the first look. So we're gonna chop some of this away uh, behind here and maybe this whole thing will come out, we'll see. Feel that's pretty rotten behind there. Yep, yeah, feels rotten all the way over to here. opens it up. All right, so we use these two these two things, the type on glue to go ahead and just provide a, some adhesion while we finish up by getting everything else attached. And then this guy Dynaflex Ultra is just a white caulk that we put in on the other side of that board where it's meeting the window. So in that groove, right where that groove is, we got one ahead and, and put the white caulk uh, just to provide a little cushion between the board and the glass. We're gonna put a little foam in this crevice here to uh, fill in these voids. It can be problematic with air, air infiltration. So that gives it a, just a protective barrier. All right, so we got this. This is a, a board that matches that profile on that end right there and we got that in so now we'll do this board right here that'll fill in this space right here and that would be this board right here and that's what we're looking at so let's go ahead and screw that one in like we did like we did with the last one we're gonna Add a layer of foam here on top of this foam. And I can be pretty sloppy with it because I'm just gonna squeeze this next board right in it. And then because this is door and window foam, it won't expand and hurt the board itself, which is why you use door and window foam. 
and not the other, which is hardcore expanding. It'll it'll bow boards and uh, crack windows. So you got to be careful on which foam you use. We'll have a link in the description below the video if you're looking for that. All right, so we've just built up this portion of the frame around the window and uh, it required a, a shim in there to just kind of nudge it up against the window itself. And now we just have this last piece and I'm gonna put that in there, get it good and tight. And then we just have this last piece right here. Oh, and this piece here. So right, we're, because of all the different pieces the window is made of and what rotted and what didn't, we're just trying to piecemeal it back together and then we'll, we'll cover all the gaps with wood putty. All right, so we got those little pieces in and now we're just gonna go ahead and hit this with putty. Let that dry and then we'll sand it. We're gonna use this Minwax wood filler and then add hardener to it. All right, so putty it up. It's rough, but it'll sand well, so that's not too big of a worry. So we'll just go ahead and let that dry, and then we'll come back with the final sand, prime and paint. All right, so the paint's a little on the light side, but hopefully as it dries, it'll it'll go back to something closer. It's not an exact match. Probably what we'll have to do is repaint the whole, this whole section to get it perfect. We've got it all repaired. It's gonna be all sealed up for the winter. So I hope you got anything out of this. If you did, go ahead and give us a like. We appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.